The butterfly, a cabbage white, his honest idiocy of flight, has never yet, it is too late, mastered the art of flying straight. He lurches here and there by guess and guard and hope and hopelessness. Even the aerobatic swift has not his flying crooked gift. That's about me, not about the butterfly. And it's the irregularity of the flight and the unpredictability of the flight which makes the um, cabbage white survive in this difficult world. And uh, that's rather true about poets. Like the cabbage white butterfly, writer Robert Graves took many unpredictable turns on his fascinating journey through life. Though Graves would describe himself first and foremost as a poet, he was a man of enormous literary talent who wrote more than 150 books. He was eccentric, brilliant, and visionary. Robert's views were certainly very bizarre and very extreme in some ways. And yet very often, in expressing these views, he seemed to come closer to the truth of things than many a, an apparently more sane, down-to-earth person. Robert Graves' vivid imagination was fueled by a volatile mixture of emotional highs and catastrophic lows. His most memorable works emerged when the world around him was falling apart. At the peak of his writing career, Graves attempted to unravel the mystery of his creative process. That effort took him on a journey across time and culture through which he envisioned a mythical female muse. He called her the White Goddess. It's very hard to say exactly what the White Goddess adds up to. It's, it's wonderful, it's mad, it's an enormous great ragbag of ideas which are partially, possibly true. What really matters is that they were true for Graves. The White Goddess represents what made Graves inspired. 